Alrighty, boys and girls of the internet. I guess we're gonna work on tackling the interior in the 1990 Mitsubishi Mighty Max. So, <coughs> for one, it smells really bad. The weather today decided it's gonna bump us up into the 80s. And yes, Mighty Max is spelled with one X. If you can see it, but one of my characters has two X's in the name. It's it's funny. So that's why it had two X's. Uh, got a mystery bag of garbage. Yay. Okay. Let's just get all that. I'm going to have to get all that shit out too, but you know. One thing at a time. CarMax in Greenville, South Carolina. Old Panasonic battery. Uh, what's in the glove box? Oh, that's right, just papers. We got a roll of trash bags we can save. Oof. We're gonna vacuum that. Okay, so Get those bad boys out of there They're not doing anything for the aroma anymore That tram was fucked up Okay, so I guess let me get a Let me get the shop back And we'll start shop backing. All right, so we got the little shop back. We're gonna see if it'll do anything. I'm sure you guys are just tickled with this. You know I'm not much of a detail guy. I'm gonna keep doing this. We'll be back in a minute. Okay, so here we are. Just kind of half ass vacuumed it out just to get the big stuff. So now I think that the uh, interior looks okay. We're gonna ignore all of this shit in the bed. We're gonna get over here. And uh, I've got some sponges now. 
these guys right here. This is why I'm still wearing gloves. Uh, I don't know if you're aware or not. I got like a texture issue thing. And uh, sponges are one of my trigger things. I can't do it. I can't, I can't let skin touch sponge. So keeping my gloves on. Gonna get some of uh, this stuff that the old man's got over here. What you got? What is it? Mean Green. Mean Green Antibacteria Multi-Surface Cleaner. That he was cleaning out our catch pans with. You about to change some more oil? Had to catch it, so I don't lose it. Ah, changing a drain pan gasket. So, I'm gonna use this stuff to wash down the door panels, and since there's no power accessories, in these door panels, you can essentially take the, no, I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna put water in my bucket so that I can rinse it out with small amounts of water using the sponge. And uh, I got a towel so that I can, I can rinse it and then wipe it with a towel. But technically speaking, you could just wet the door panel, although it is like a cardboard material behind it and that uh, a lot of times that'll break them apart and they'll start swelling up. These seem to be in very good condition for the age, so I would like, except for that dent that I just put in the bed. Uh, so I'm gonna try to keep them that way using a sponge, antibacterial mean green, and let's see what we can do on this door panel. All right, so I'm gonna take my sponge first. I'm gonna get it down here in the bucket and get it kind of nice and wet like this one. I just kind of want to make the door panel wet. You can actually see stuff is already coming. And this is just sink water. There's nothing else in this yet. But we want to get some moisture on that door panel before we start adding chemicals. And you could probably wash the whole door this way without any chemicals. It just takes a little more scrubbing. Uh, I'm going to set this to spray. Like I said, this is the Mean Green Antibacterial. So this kills 99.99% .99 of germs. It could make you sick and spread the Lorona, all that good stuff. Let's see, I'm going to use a sponge to soak up the drops that are already falling. It's not the best thing for the door panel, but it's lived this long. It's had a good run. I'm also gonna dump out the bucket of brown water. Get us some fresh stuff going in there. So it don't take much. Probably got water all over the camera now. Oh. There we go. So we're just gonna keep going. Yeah, that's looking better. Voila. One door panel down. We're gonna let that bad boy dry. Like I said, it's good and hot today, so the sun's gonna help us. And I'm gonna work on the dash. I've got some wipes to do the dash with though. So let's get All to righty. it. Alrighty, they're moving a mobile home down the road. And I just finished wiping down the dash and everything. I'm gonna put some armor all protecting on it now. We got rid of that center console and I started washing the seats. Now the seats look like that they would be a bear, but uh, 
See the difference already? So I've done this side with the seat bottom and there's the side we have it done. This is porous, it's got all these little holes in it, which once again, you would think would make it a bear, but it doesn't. This is all good. So what you do, get you a towel, get a brush, get your cleaner, some water. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take We're gonna saturate the area that we wanna clean with our solution. Then we're gonna wet our brush and get some of that water in there into the fabric. And it really works good on these old vinyl seats. The water never will get all the way down into the seat. And you just wipe it off. Make sure to use some good force to get it down into all them little holes. Same thing with the center. And uh, I would definitely not do this during the winter. You want some good hot days. So I'm gonna let this one sit. But look at that. Much better. So now we'll get to driver's side and we'll let the sun do its magic. Okay, so here's where we are on the Mighty Max. You can actually, ah, oh, I missed it right here. I need to get my rag back out. This is just kind of a half-ass thing today anyway. Buck 28. Door panel's nice and clean. I haven't done the steer mill yet because I'm probably gonna take the horn the horn button off to clean it and i'm going to take this off i think the steering wheel is fine underneath i just think they covered it so i'm probably going to take this germ holster off and uh and do that and i left the floor mat and found another random floor mat to put in this side what you doing i think security shut down security shut it down yeah it won't uh oh nothing south, nothing to look at. Ah. let's go figure it out all right well there's that. I'm going to go figure out what's wrong with this expedition, and then we'll be back.